Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments are for Sebastian, so let's get right down to it. So your TOEFL score is approximately 70 points out of 120, and you want to score 100. And you say in the email here, you say, before I buy your course, I'd like to know your opinion and chances of getting an excellent score, which is more than 100. You say, I pretend to invert, you want to say invest one hour daily for studying and practicing during 90 days. So what are your chances of getting over 100? I would say about 5% out of 100, so not very likely, I'll be honest with you. One hour a day is not enough. If you want to get over 100, you have to obsess. You have to do everything possible all day, every day for 90 days if you want to get over 100. Trust me, I've interviewed a lot of people who have got over 100. They don't do it by one hour a day. No, I'm not saying study eight hours a day. Here's what I'm saying. If you want to get over 100, you probably want to study at least two to three hours a day, you want to be studying TOEFL preparation type things. Building your vocabulary, improving your pronunciation, uh, uh, developing your grammar, doing reading and listening and speaking and writing practice tests. You want to be doing this about two to three hours a day every day for 90 days. Now, in addition to that, each day, you want to read for probably at least an hour a day. You want to read magazines, newspapers, and books. And don't even worry if you don't understand all the words, Sebastian, doesn't matter. But extensive reading over a longer period of time does get you some really good results with your reading and your overall uh, academic English proficiency skills. Even with listening, you want to watch movies on a daily basis if possible, watch news programs, documentary programs, science programs, history programs, all of those things. So I would say two to three hours a day with TOEFL prep for 90 days, and then maybe an additional two to three hours on top of that each day, you know, either reading or listening type practice, you know, with, with fun stuff, things that don't, you know, drain your brain too much. So if you did that, you still would have difficulty reaching your goal of 100, but you would definitely have a much better chance of reaching that goal if you spend more than one hour a day studying TOEFL. I mean, you're, you're asking me, it's kind of like this. You're saying, hey, Michael, I want to run a marathon, so to get ready for the marathon, I plan on running one kilometer each day until I run the marathon. You see, you can't. You can't prepare yourself to run 42 kilometers by running one kilometer a day. The IBT exam takes five and a half hours. It's tough. It's academic. It's extensive. It's a very difficult test, so you have to really, really dedicate some time you know, over the next few months to pass that test, and your attitude, your mind, has got to be right. You have to refuse to accept failure. Even if you take it 90 days, if you don't reach your goal, you have to be willing to keep fighting. You have to see it all the way to the end. So uh, anyway, Sebastian, thank you very much for your comments. I hope in this video I've given you some pretty good information. Remember that my course helps build your English proficiency in seven key areas, beginning with pronunciation, actually vocabulary, then grammar, then reading, listening, writing, and speaking areas. That is how I teach TOEFL preparation. I help build a student's English proficiency in all those different areas. And guess what happens? When they take the TOEFL, they'll do better. Now, what you can expect is if you study really hard, Sebastian, you can improve your TOEFL score about 5 to 10 points for each month that they use my TOEFL course. All right? Anyway, have a great day.